week had passed since the 139th anniversary celebration, and the Woodhead line was as busy as ever. With the line being so busy, Mr. Salmon asked for his flying Scotsman and City of Troy to remain a little while longer to help out. One morning, Sylvester and Scotsman had just pulled into Manchester with an extra long silver rose, and were glad for a rest. I say, it's the longest train I've pulled in a long time. Agreed. Though, I enjoyed helping a fellow celebrity with his work. Well, if it isn't, Mr. I'm the first to break 100. Oi, it's true. I did break it first. It's on record. Here we go again. Will they ever stop? That's a laugh. I clearly hold the record. You are just famous for being self-centered. Alright, that's enough. We do need to stop arguing. It doesn't matter who broke 100 first. What matters is that the line run as it should be. Now shut up and work, both of you. The famous engines were speechless, as were Sylvester and Nemo. They'd never heard the 7F so angry before, and it surprised them. You are right there, Nigel. If those two would quit arguing, I'd be fine. need a way to get him to stop fighting. It's driving me crazy. I think we've all had enough of their fighting. I agree. But how do we solve this? Hmm. Let's talk to others about it. And maybe we could put a plan together. What's this about, Nemo? I think you should ask Nigel. It were his idea. Alright, Nigel. What's this about? We need to figure out a plan to get our famous guests to stop fighting. You all have to agree that it's getting annoying. True, it's very annoying. So, what do we do? Hmm, maybe we could force them to show shut? That would just make it worse, Timothy. Hmm, how about they pull a train together? One that we can all just happen to be too busy to pull and requires double heading. Well, rather conveniently, I'm due for routine maintenance tomorrow. That's all the excuse we need. Perfect. The next morning, Sylvester and Nigel were at Sheffield when Mr. Salmon arrived. Hello, you two. What brings you here? I'm due for routine maintenance, sir, and I need someone to take over for the Silver Rose. Hmm. What are you suggesting? What about putting City of Turo and Flying Scotsman on it? They don't have anything to do. Hmm. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. Soon, the arrangements were made. Flying Scotsman and City of Truro were at Sheffield. The two immediately started arguing again, but Mr. Salmon ended it quickly. Alright, that's enough. Now, you two are to pull this train together and stop bickering. Understood? Yes, sir. Once Mr. Salmon walked away, the two immediately started arguing about who would lead. Since I'm the senior engine, I should lead. You wish. I have been leading this time. I followed Silverlink yesterday. Fine, I'll take the train alone. Be my guest. The churro was coupled to the train alone. The guards whistle blew, and he started to move. Well, tried to. Ah, come on! Come on! This train is too heavy. Well, you said you could do it. Well... I was wrong. Oi, will you two please get a move on, or I'll get Mr. Salmon here. Yes, sir. City, this fighting is getting us nowhere. It's very pointless. I do believe we really need to work together on this. Agreed. Maybe we can reach 100 miles an hour together. Oh, wouldn't that be exciting? And so, two record holders pulled the Silver Rose out of the station and tried to make up for lost time.
As they went, Scotsman's driver noticed something quite amazing. Wow! Look at this! Whoa! 110 miles per hour! That's amazing! The screw of screw know we've done this? No idea. We'll ask them at Manchester. When they reached Manchester, the two were greeted by cheering passengers, rail fans, and engines. What's all this then? You're 15 minutes early. A lot of people called as you went past each station and spread word that you would appear to be going close to, if not above, 100 miles per hour. Ah, uh, well, that's nothing. Wait, we're early? Yes, you are. Not bad after starting 20 minutes late. I am impressed. Never realized how far behind we were, nor how fast we were going. I'm impressed as well. In fact, you two have just broken the line speed record. Well, fancy that. I have to say, that was amazing. Who'd have thought we'd ever see 110 miles per hour on this line? At least under Mr. Salmon's ownership. To be honest, I expected John or Sylvester to do it. But not some famous guests. Aye, but it's a good thing that they did. People will know the Woodhead line now. It's really put us on the map. Nemo's right. It'll be great for business, but it's a shame that they have to leave tomorrow. Well... I knew this wouldn't last. Old game things must come to an end, but it's been a pleasure. The next day, all the engines gathered to watch Flying Scotsman and see Truro depart. I'm glad we finally have something to agree on, Truro. Agreed. It's been good working with you. Well, we best be going. Goodbye, everyone. Hopefully we can come back another time. Goodbye. As the other engines said their goodbyes, Lang Scotsman and City of Truro departed and headed for their homes. The engines of the Woodhead Line hoped they would see them again soon. <laughs> <laughs>